Let me show y'all what I'm working on. I took the module back out and I took that condenser out, which is right here. But for some reason, these modules keep blowing out on me. Now, what I did was the first time I put I put one of these modules in there, and right out the box, I don't think it worked. I got this from Advanced Auto Parts. So I put that module in there and I put that dielectric grease on there that came with the module. And when I put that dielectric grease on there, I'm telling you, I heard something pop and something melted up under there. So now this is what, that was the first module that I had, I mean. Now this is the second module that I had. I actually didn't even put no grease on here in the same day. It just, it just still popped on me. So now this is what I did. I went to the junkyard and got another module with the condenser and some, some better electrical connections. It looked like, this came out that photo regal. And this actually looked like they, they just put this thing in here. Didn't have much grease on it or whatever. And instead of me using that dielectric grease, I ran to the auto zone. And dude act like he didn't know what I was talking about. And got this um, heat sinking compound to rub on the module now. So I'm going to drop all this in. And this time around what I'm doing different is changing the condenser. And the module this time instead of just changing the module because this, this is like my third ignition module that I'm that I'm working on. I know as soon as I drop it in, the car gonna start right up. But the question is, how long is the module gonna last? So now I'm gonna rub this compound on there, like I said, and drop everything back in, and then we just gonna go from there. But it's getting dark out here, so probably have to come down here and do this another I said, day. I think they just recently put this ignition module in there because this was my bolt that just came out the original and these was the bolts that came out of that Regal. These bolts almost look new so that's why I said this thing is probably fairly new versus um my old one that I had in there. So let me just go ahead and drop everything back in here and switch all the connections now with this. So now I dropped everything back on here. I'm telling you, when I put this brake booster and this master set, this stuff was brand new when I put this in here. From all that brake fluid wasting on that stuff, man, it just ate the paint off of it. But I didn't drop everything back on here. Now this finna be the first start. I'm gonna just drip some gas inside this carburetor because I ain't been running in. I ain't been running in probably like a week or maybe two weeks. I don't know. I'm just drip a little gas in there, not too much. Squirt that little gas in there. Now the car should start it up. Cause I put everything back, the original parts. But if I can find the key in my pocket. I don't know what the hell I do with the key. Like I said, the car should start it up. It's gonna be running high because that carburetor is still not adjusted. That base idle screw, man, that thing's so hard to get to. It's just gonna probably be running real fast. Or it might stall out because it needs to be adjusted. It ain't running fast though. See, it's gonna probably cut off because I gotta turn the idle speed up. But my thing is, we're going to see, see, I got to keep stepping on the gas pedal to keep it running. Let me turn the idle speeds up. The idle speed, that screw going to have to be turned up a little faster, but I'm just still working with it, man. All right. So I threw this new return spring on. Seem to be working a little better than that old one. I almost got the car idling how I want it. If I can find the key. I only started it up for a hot little second. Let's see how that items now. <laughs> that belt squilling again. Belt squilling stop. 
sound bad. My ears are gonna sound that bad. You see how the car wanna die though. Like that's when I don't understand. I don't have that idle speed turned up fast enough. Alright, so I'm back out here playing mechanic. That module seemed to be working good. And this I got a little impatient. This stuff didn't come in the mail on time. I was ready to get it get it rolling, but I got a new condenser, a new module, and it's that grease that came. Man, I think this dielectric grease, but I wouldn't use this stuff on my module because it, it kept popping the modules. Like I said before, just get you, this come in a two pack. But I got this stuff for spell just in case something happened. But this the car starting up, but here's the thing. The car won't stay running. So I'm looking and I remember watching another guy video and he said it might be a vacuum leak or something. So I'm just tracing all these lines. And this line right here that goes inside, I don't know what this box is. But I could feel, I traced that line and it's a it's a huge crack in that vacuum line that goes in this port right here. So what is this what is this box right here? Because I don't know what it is, but it got a vacuum hose on it. They got a huge crack in it. So maybe that's why the car not stand idling. It won't stay running. It'll start up, but it won't stay running. Now how to release this little box right here. You see that part? That's where that vacuum line was broken. Right there. And then it, it got another little crack line in it too. Whatever this little box, somebody could tell me what this is. Obviously, it seems to be important. It got all the vacuum hoses going in it. I gotta replace some of these lines to keep this car running. All right, so now you can <clears throat> kind of get a better view of the, the leaks that I had. I found another cracked vacuum line that's going down here and going to the front of the carburetor. So I figured out how to take this down thing off of here and just slid right off. I was I was tripping. I didn't know how to take it off at first. So let me replace some of these lines. See if I can get this car back rolling. Got the car to idle to a point where it's not shutting off, but this carburetor still needs to be adjusted. It's running decent. I ended up switching this vacuum line right here going into this thing, and I switched this vacuum line right here, and then the car just is idling on its own now. But it's, it's almost getting there though. And I still got those extra parts in case the um, junkyard module and everything go out. We almost done. We finished working. So now all I gotta do is get this carburetor adjusted right. It don't sound that bad, but it's almost there. All I gotta do is just keep tweaking and tuning, tweaking and tuning. That module and that condenser working good.